Good morning, everybody. Today, I want to talk about something special, and that is the. Uh, is it too loud? I'm not sure how loud the aircon is with this microphone or not. I want to talk about something special today, and that is the uh, Filipino hospitality, which has been, you know, something that's been thriving very highly in my life here and on my journey around the Philippines, whether that's, you know, meeting people on the street or random incidents or just, you know, the online community that is me and you. And uh, I've received so much help just by comments, suggestions and ideas from you guys and that's what this community is all about. And I just want to talk a little bit about that today. And then later on we'll go out to Cebu and maybe I'll show you guys um, a normal day in my life here in Cebu City. How is this angle by the way? And should I do this like all the vloggers do? <laughs> I keep saying like my bites are back, um, I got something on my hand and I finally think I know what it is and it was you guys that actually helped me out. So when it happened, about a month ago, I woke up with the bites all over my hand. Immediately I went to the doctor, they told me to uh, put some cream on it. Nothing happened for a week, then I went again to the doctor and then they gave me some antibiotic steroid cream. That didn't work either for the last two, three weeks. So. Now it's almost three, four weeks that I've been dealing with bites. It's quite nasty. And it wasn't until maybe two, three days ago that one of you guys uh, messaged me and said, hey, this might be limeish or something, a very serious uh, pesticide that's living under my skin. And it seems to be like that. All in all, like you guys are, have been doing better job than the doctors that I've been going to, but that might also be my fault. Like I didn't seek out a, the terminologist. I just went to a normal doctor here in, uh, or a clinic in Cebu City. Oh, and by the way, once again, the Filipino hospitality, you guys have been sending me some loads of stuff just for all my bites and getting sick and whatnot. Thank you guys once again for that. Also another update on the charity and the school that we're building, me and you and everybody, all our community, where uh, it's happening now and they already raised up the walls but I can't go visit them yet, uh, both because of this. Jolene and Bart, they're uh, waiting on their baby, so we're gonna, come on Jolene, pop that baby out and then we can go back to ranches. So I'm very excited to show you the progress over there. They already raised the walls and next week they're, they're maybe you know, starting the roof. So that's going very fast. Exploring with Cody, that was freaking awesome. Amazing trip with him. I was gonna go visit him in Ciargo or whatnot, but you know, this comes first, I have to take care of it. But anyways guys, I'm gonna make a few phone calls now. My motorbike should be registered already, I hope so. So I'm gonna call Honda dealership and then we're off to uh, the pharmacy. Good morning, Loretta. This is Finn. I'm calling because of the registration of the bike that I purchased about one and a half month ago. F-I-N. It's not ready. Okay, do you have any estimated time? All right. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Well, it's been 28 days and they say it's gonna take between one to three months. <laughs> ah, Filipino time. Anyway, let's go do some work, fix this thing, get some food, because I have to eat a lot of food before I take this medicine, they were telling me. It's a lot of things to digest, so let's go. Now, every time I go out, I always put on this off lotion. I prefer this one, because uh, the other one gets kind of sticky. Let's get this day started. Now, if you've been following my Instagram stories, you'll notice I put a lot of clips about this light pole. You can tell how bent it is. And sometimes it keeps going more further and further down and they come like once a month just to race it back up. And also the cables over here, hold on, a little bit further. Now the cables over here, each and every day they lower a little bit and a little bit. And then some guy comes over and picks them. Hey Dougie! Hey Dougie! Keeps lowering and then one guy comes and raises back up. So this is Talamba Road close to San Carlos University. Very busy street. Similar to Manila except here there's no pollution or bad smell. So it's, it's a way different one. 
That's 360 Pharmacy. Let's see if they have all this stuff. All right, that was successful. We got everything. That was about 1,500 paces, and I'm sure in my country, this would be like 10,000 paces. But uh, let's get a haba haba. Go to Ayala Mall. Hello, Kuya. Ayala Mall. Ayala. How much? 70. 60. 70. 70. 70. 70, okay. Golf ball. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> It's a gold pot. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I've never seen that. I've never seen that before. Made it to Ayala. Let's find some food and then start to digest some of this medicine. It's only here in the Philippines where you get in a line for an ATM. Alright, so I'm meeting here at Kenny Rogers, and this is the list that I have to take. There's four types of medicine, two of them right now, and then two before I go to sleep. Alright, road to recovery. That was delicious and Kenny Rogers never fails to amaze. And the size of the chicken is probably like three or four times the size of Jollibee. So nowadays I like to go to the mall every now and then, but before in Iceland I used to hate the mall. It was one of the most annoying things for me to do. Like I get claustrophobic, too many humans. But now, like Philippines has chased me to a uh, Starting to really like them. I quite enjoy to come here once in a while for, I guess, the space, the aircon, clean food, I guess. But, uh, Ayala Mall, that's one of my favorite ones. Over there, that's where I had my first meet and greet here in Cebu. Maybe I'll do that once again. Comment below if you want me to have another meet and greet here in Cebu. We'll definitely do that if you guys want to. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your guy's name? Uh, my name is Phil and people there in Ayala always nice to meet you guys some pictures and all that but now we're going back home we're gonna stop on the side of the road and I saw like a mango stand fruits uh, so we're gonna try to grab one of those on the way back home all right back on Talamban let's find some fruit everything changes here all the time on this road like this fruit stand over here didn't used to be here like a few days ago hello I had the... Get some... Uh, how much for a mango? 120. One kilo. What? 120? Too much. One kilo. What is this? What is that? Huyabano. Huh? Huyabano. Let's get some uh, mangoes. Oh, one kilo. Wow, smell good. You have to smell the mango. And I've learned this by smelling hundreds of mangoes. They're all really good. They're good. Very sweet. Yeah, these are sweet. Let's get three. Ah, uh, this lovely old lady over there. She only brought this stand two days ago. And now she's there selling some fruits. Oh, I just made it back. Oh, come on, open. Oh, I made it back home and this camera's running out of battery. Whew, it's hot. Let's put the aircon on. We vlogged on this GoPro camera all day, giving it a little bit of test, seeing how that is. So nice and easy carrying this small one. Whew, it's hot. Okay, just got my medicine. I don't even know what that is. I never even heard about these, these ones. Co-amoxiclav augmentin. I don't know what you do, but I hope you kill these bugs living under my skin. I really wanted to take you guys along with me today just to showcase a little bit about my day-to-day -day life here in the Cebu city. Of course, I spend most of the time on my computer editing, 
and doing the emails and all that. I normally don't go to the doctor every day or something like that or the pharmacy, but <laughs> I just thought I shared this experience and with my bites and my sickness that's been going on due to these bites. Because you are the one that helped me. You, you guys, you know, you're the one that found out the problem. If it wasn't for you, I might have still had this and I wouldn't know what to do. Even though I visited two doctors, they gave me some cream and crap that didn't even work. Ultimately, you found out what was wrong. Then I saw three doctors yesterday and they, they gave me a prescription right away. And uh, now we're gonna deal with that and see how the next seven days go, if this is gonna heal or not. But I also like to just talk a little bit about you know, the Philippines and the community we're building. I'm always chasing positivity. And positivity means or equals happiness. So I'm always about being happy. And here in the Philippines, I found my happiness and I've been you know, searching for that all my life. And I truly found it here and I love living in Cebu. I love going around traveling and meeting you guys and talking to everybody. You know, even today, you know, there's a bunch of you that said hi to me, we had a, you know, conversations. Of course, love that. And some, you know, they didn't even know me. So <laughs> that's always nice too. And that just shows you the, uh, the true Filipinos here, which I, you know, that, that's the, one of the main reasons, if not the main reason I'm here in the Philippines. So I just want to take you guys a little bit on my journey um, today and the progress of the healing and the positivity about this community. Maybe I don't talk too much about it, but I think it's something I should address every once in a while because ultimately that's why I'm here in the Philippines. Happiness and positivity. Don't let anyone drag you down or bring negativity in your life. That's never good. Smile have a conversations and work things out. I'm not sure what's coming up next, but I hope we'll be doing some travel videos soon. That's my passion, I always go for that. Maybe I'm thinking about doing some um, food vlogs and maybe some challenges, which I haven't done before. So let me know if you wanna see some of that, but travel is always gonna be my passion and uh, I can't do much of that in the next coming days. So uh, we'll see what we do and uh, I guess until next time guys. Peace out.